Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're uh, once again delving into the world of Russian music. And today, guys, it is finally time to talk about the man, the myth, the legend that I like to describe as the Russian 6ix9ine, Morgenstern. Let's go! Вот эта вот хуйня на мне вся, вот эта. Вот эта. Дороже твоей хаты стоит. Да, сука, новый автомат. Я очень люблю русскую аудиторию э, за то, что она тупая, пиздец. Мои фанаты долба кончены. Привет, дорогие подписчики! Странности сообщают, что мы переходим с вами на новый уровень коммуникации. Yeah, that was just a little taste, a little snippet of what this guy is. Uh, to put it short, right now, Morgenstern is literally the most popular artist in Russia, period. And by far the most popular rapper in Russia, definitely. His music is extremely popular, he gets hundreds of millions of views on his music videos, and also he recently made a feature with Lil Pump. Yes, uh, the man, the legend himself, the real Lil Pump, uh, Morgenstern has a track with him. Over the past few years, this guy has blown up like crazy, his antics are insane, his whole persona is absolutely absolutely ridiculous and he's kind of a legend in his own right and he's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine to be honest. Maybe some of you guys remember a few years ago I made a video on the rapper Face who I described as the Russian Lil Pump. Well this guy, I mean, if you thought Face was ridiculous and crazy, uh, he's nothing compared to this dude. <laughs> So let's start from the beginning, because I feel like Morgenstern's story is actually quite interesting. Alisher Valeev uh, was born in 1998, so same year as me, we're basically the same exact age, he's actually one month younger than me. He was born in the city of Ufa in Russia. Ufa is the capital of the region of Bashkortostan, and you know, he lived a pretty regular life or whatever, but here's the funny thing, is that Morgenstern actually used to be a YouTuber, and his come up started on YouTube. Basically, before becoming this ridiculous rapper personality, he actually made uh, rock music, uh, under the name Mama Virgin and he made like parody songs or whatever which were pretty bad to be completely honest and he wasn't really popular his videos didn't get much views however it, the things took a turn in 2017 when he started a sort of series on, of videos on his channel called a hashtag easy rap essentially the idea of those videos was him making a track in the style of a particular a Russian rapper sort of parodying them and showing how he makes the beat the artists that he parodied include face you know the legend we discussed before Kizaru, LJ, and many other big Russian rappers whom he completely shat on in all of those videos and ironically ended up making uh, songs with years later when he actually became big. Вот скажите мне, как вы относитесь к современной музыке? Лично я считаю, что она давно уже обесценилась, что она бездарна и за ней не стоит никакого таланта. His entire shtick in those videos was that he basically was saying that the entire rap scene in Russia is absolute garbage, you know, the people are completely untalented, so just idiots, you know, it's incredible incredibly easy to make this music and all you guys are just dumbasses for listening to this but I'm better. That was essentially his entire shtick. And I think it's just kind of funny because he started out shitting on all these Russian rappers and saying that their music is garbage but then he actually ma started making the exact same music, the exact same garbage and he's owning it. And so afterwards creating this easy rap uh, series on YouTube and becoming pretty big off of that, he actually started making his own music and actually got very very huge off of that and just made songs with some genius, genius marketing practices we're gonna get into a bit later. But before we get to it, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys have the question, why am I comparing Morgenstern to 6 ix 9 Why do I call him the Russian 6 ix 9 The thing is that first of all, as you guys know, 6 ix 9 I mean, first of all, it's the look. They look, they both look fucking ridiculous. I mean, look at Morgenstern, the way he looks, the the way his hair, face tattoos and everything, just the way he acts, you know, just flexing all the time, you know, dressed in absolute ridiculous outfits, you know, Versace top to bottom, just no sense of style or anything, just complete garbage. Very 6 9 e in my opinion. And also the fact that he called out the entire rap industry essentially and beef with basically everybody, very much like 6 9 as well, because you know that guy loves to beef with everybody and insult dead people and stuff. <laughs> and I guess for me, Morgenstern kind of falls into 6 ix 9s place as well, because I think 6 ix 9 
Nine is a complete dumbass, but some of his songs slap, dude. I hate what Six Nine stands for, but some of his songs go hard, and I cannot deny it. He's a guilty pleasure of mine, and it's very much the same for me with Morgenstern. I kind of hate everything about him, but some of his songs actually go super hard. So what ridiculous antics exactly Morgenstern has done? Well, first of all, he actually dropped out of university and actually got uh, thrown out of his university because of his videos on YouTube. Apparently, he made some video in like 2017 in which he was uh, he was studying to be a teacher in the university and he was like teaching a class in school or something that's part of like his university practice job or whatever and apparently he recorded like a prank type video in which he came up to like underage girls and asked them about sex and stuff. Uh, kind of yikes. Uh, and basically he got thrown out of university for that exact reason and he made a video on it saying Hey guys, you know, I got thrown out of university And what he decided to do to sort of mark that event is that he went out and got a face tattoo of uh, The number strip triple six 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 right above his eyebrow This was before he was a huge music artist or anything by the way He just went out and got a face tattoo that would basically bar him from ever getting a real job or ever being you know successful in society in any traditional way, which is fucking insane. <laughs> like, this is just insane, right? So before he even had a solo music career, and before he even was making tons of money or anything, he got a face tattoo and sort of fully committed himself to this life of being like a freak kind of uh, rapper, entertainer kind of guy, you know? And honestly, guys, I have to respect that to a certain degree, because that takes some balls to do. Or stupidity, you know? It's either one of those. So yeah, over time, Morgenstern just kept getting increasingly and increasingly more weird looking, you know? He's gone through a very big body transformation, by the way, he's lost a lot of weight and is like shredded now, which I do respect, but his overall look and everything, you know, he just became more and more, uh, you know, deranged, he just looks more and more ridiculous with every passing season, and it's very much in the, in the you know, in the realm of 6 9 as well, I feel like, because every month you see that guy, you know, he comes up with a new track or anything, he's got like 6 new face tattoos. Basically the exact same thing is going on with Morgenstern. So yeah, let's talk about the music for a second. Now guys, you know, I cannot play a ton of his music because, um, you know, YouTube copyright is... It's a lot easier to get copyrighted on YouTube now for playing even the smallest clip of a song. First of all, I want to say that Morgenstern has been called out by multiple people for apparently stealing music from Western artists. You know, a classic, classic trope for Russian rappers, just stealing music from Westerners. But as far as music goes, like, like I said, some of his songs slap hot. His biggest hit has made Cadillac classic, absolute classic. Another song I love is Ratatatata. That's like my favorite song. Whenever I get drunk, fucked up, whatever, I I I just I just have to rap that song. It's just so good. <laughs> And I guess another song I would like to point out, I don't even really like it, but I think it, it, it they just did something really funny with it. So if you guys watch my channel, you probably know who Timothy is. He's, you know, uh, a, a guy described as the worst Russian rapper of all time. He's like, you know, this terrible rapper who's basically bootlicking the Russian government and the Russian president all the time, just pandering like crazy, you know? And his music is garbage, and I just hate him and everything he stands for, essentially. B-Tech, Drake-looking ass. Well, Morgenstern made a song with him. He made a song song with Timothy and uh, you know it's pretty cool whatever uh, one thing I would like to point out is that the music videos that Morgenstern does you know the production quality and everything is always top-notch it's way better even than most uh, Western uh, rappers but yeah anyway the funny story about the song that they made together with Timothy is that apparently uh, Morgenstern and his producer that when they were producing the beat uh, instead of using the regular 808 bass you know in a track like, you know, you would for a regular trap beat. Uh, basically, they created an 808 out of a fart. Uh, it's a real story. <laughs> Morgenstern literally farted in the microphone and they turned his fart into a bass in the track, in the beat. <laughs> And essentially they did it without Timothy's approval or whatever, so Timothy actually got pissed. And he actually got mad at Morgenstern for, uh, like, farting on his song or whatever. <laughs> so Morgenstern had to, like, publicly apologize to the guy who he, he made a feature with. Which I think is kind of funny, to be honest, like, huge shoutouts to Morgenstern for doing that. I don't I don't honestly know if it's, like, what his true feelings about Timothy are, but just because I hate Timothy, right? I'm I i, I just, I'm just giving mad props to Morgenstern for farting on the beats and making Timothy mad. I 
just that's just beautiful that's amazing so yeah Marcus Stern has done a lot of different uh, great marketing uh, you know strategies to promote his music for example when he was not as big he was promoting his music he was like burning money on camera and stuff like that I think one of the marketing strategies that I really liked which I thought was really funny that he did recently is um he came out with a song called Ice by the way another banger in my opinion he released a snippet of the song called Ice and uh, he was teasing it very very hard on his like uh, profile uh, page on like VK uh, page or whatever on YouTube he was teasing it very hard saying that he uh, is going to collab he's gonna have a feature on that song that's gonna blow everybody's dicks up he was saying that he has a feature with like one of the greatest one of the most genius artists of all time on there and people really were excited for it people were like guessing you know those there was like theory videos on YouTube of people trying to like look through his like whoever he follows on Instagram or whatever trying to see if who he's talking to basically he created a lot of a lot of talk about this uh, upcoming feature on this track people were saying stuff like oh he's gonna get a feature with like Kanye West or something 6 9 whatever people will get thrown out all sorts of guesses and the truth is that when the track came out uh, he was featuring himself <laughs> yes the track name was literally Morgenstern Ice featuring Morgenstern My man, you were, you were, he's a marketing fucking genius. Jesus Christ. And yeah, he recently also came out with a track with Lil Pump. Uh, and uh, the song actually didn't really blow up because as you guys, I don't know if you guys f really follow it, but Lil Pump is like, he fell off really, really badly. He's like super relevant right now. So I mean, I guess it's pretty cool that Morgenstern got a feature with Lil Pump, but you know, it's not as impressive as it would have been for like FaZe to get a feature with Lil Pump like in 2018. If that's if something like that happened, that would have been way, way, way huger. But it's not as cool right now because right now Lil Pump is literally doing features with YouTubers. Like he made a feature with I think uh, KSI it was, right? And like the Dobre brothers or whatever. He's literally just doing paid features with YouTubers at this point. So him making a feature with Morgenstern, not as impressive but i guess it's still pretty cool now just like every other russian rapper Morgenstern has a uh, sort of a shady past and there's a lot of controversy uh regarding um well here's the thing Morgenstern always liked to claim that he's from like a regular family he's like from the hood from you know humble beginnings or whatever but uh you know ever since he became famous a lot of people started doing their research and it turned out that his family was like involved in some sort of governmental work and used to work for the uh local government in uh Bashkartostan, ufa and Morgenstern was kind of playing around and he was kind of throwing out throwing it out there that his uh, anti Putin or, or whatever and he was like calling out people for making uh, pro Putin and like pro election uh, propaganda videos other youtubers who've been paid to do like propaganda videos for the Russian elections in 2018 he was calling them out and he basically was saying that the Russian government is the reason why his mom like lost her business or whatever and he like hates you know the corruption in the Russian government and stuff like that but ever ever since he became famous he started, uh, you know, not only collabing with these, like, pro-Putin uh, artists, like Timothy, for example, he actually started participating in, in like, pro-governmental rallies and uh, pro-governmental, like, concerts or organized by, like, local governments and stuff like that, and he has gone on record in interviews saying that Putin is great, so, you know... Kind of weird, kind of weird. And again, like I was saying, he always said that his family comes from humble beginnings, but it turns out that he it's really not, and his family was actually involved with the local governments where he lived. So basically, it's kind of hypocritical. And also, another really interesting thing, um, it, which is kind of a theory, there's a lot of uh, a sort of, I guess, proof of it, but I'm not really convinced to it uh completely but i do i do believe it's real more than i do believe that it's not real if it makes sense basically there's this big russian youtuber called stasai kakprost and he's made like a four hour exposing video on morgenstern absolute kino great video but uh i don't even hate morgenstern that much and i enjoyed watching the video a lot basically accused morgenstern of actually promoting the russian elections and promoting you know the pro putin elections in 2018 himself. Here's the thing, like I said, in 2018 there was the Russian election and uh, Alexei Navalny, which is, you know, the oppositional Russian leader, he was not allowed to participate in the presidential race and uh, basically the opposition of Russia was calling people to boycott the election and not to join in and the Russian government paid a bunch of Russian YouTubers to make like music videos talking about like them, you know, uh, running for presidents and uh, basically to promote the election for people to go vote in the election and uh, Morgenstern back then was one of the people to call those people out and say hey you know you guys are assholes you're promoting this corrupt election and yada 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 but Stasek Akprosa this guy who made an expose video on Morgan Stern actually says that his video 
on uh, like where he tries to expose people for promoting elections is in the promotion of an election of the election in itself. Because apparently a ton of times in the video, Morgenstern kind of puts out a message, you know, go vote, I'm going to become president, etc, etc, which is very much similar to other videos that other people made on the, like, promoting the election, doing advertisements for the government. And apparently there's some proof that he got paid by the government to do that. So I just think it's really interesting. So definitely Morgenstern is not the most honest guy out there. A lot of shady stuff behind his back, but... What can you do? That's it's what it's you know it is what it is you know six nine he was you know with it, with the nine tray bloods he was like snitching in jail. The Russian six nine is promoting elections. You know it's pretty fitting I guess. You know you gotta be a gangster. <laughs> So yeah, right now, Margenstern is literally the biggest media personality in the entirety of Russia, the biggest artist. I mean, it's the point where, like, my parents are talking about this guy, you know? It's it's not some local rapper, it's not even Face. My parents didn't talk about Face around the dinner table, okay? My parents are talking about Margenstern, though, and I'm, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on, because I've seen this guy go from YouTuber, same status as me, essentially, to this insane media personality that's, like, on TV, on all these programs, you know, collabing with huge artists. Artist. He's just insane. So right now he's making a ton of money. He's like he's killing it, you know And uh, he's recently even opened a restaurant in the center of Moscow Which you can you know, maybe imagine how expensive that is and he said that he actually cost over a million bucks To start up the business start up the restaurant So you gotta get you guys gotta understand what kind of money this guy is making if he can just you know Whip out a million bucks on the business. So you know if you're asking me my thoughts on Margenstein are very mixed I do feel like he's not the nicest not the greatest person ever out there. He just doesn't seem like a good person to be friends with, right? But I do commend his uh, business ventures and just what he does. And he's, he's blowing up like crazy. He's killing it. He's pogging it. So I feel like definitely there is some genius in this guy because he's able to create a product and pr promote it in such a way that... Is just it destroys everybody it destroys the charts uh, you know everybody's listening to it. it gets insane amount of views everybody's talking about it everybody has an, an opinion in this guy his words are in everybody's mouth and I feel like that deserves some respect so you know whether you like Martin Shana or not you gotta admit that he's a media sensation a music sensation I guess he's I guess he's pretty fitting he and I guess he's you know he's kind of deserving of uh, receiving the the uh, the great title of the Russian six nine for me there you go Morgenstern I crown you the Russian six nine you can take it and uh, you know call yourself that from now on you have my permission <laughs> anyways guys that is going to be pretty much it for this video today on Morgenstern the Russian six nine I hope you guys did enjoy this video hopefully guys this video was informative entertaining and interesting if you guys did enjoy this video today if you guys did like it please make sure to slap the like on this video and also you know let me know if you want to see more videos like this on some random Random insane Russian artist. Again, if you guys want to support my channel, make sure to go down in the description to the link, donate to my Patreon. I would gladly appreciate it. It will help me out a ton. Also, you can go down into the description as well, buy my YouTube's, which is kind of a merch you can buy to support my channel. It's pretty sick. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.